For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Log into the Ubuntu machine and uh, install the NRP client over here. So let's open the terminal. Now let's run apt get update. So just adjust the window to see the screen output. And let's run apt get update iPhone Y so that it just uh, update the uh, repositories. So now just try to install the sudo apt-get install and uh, nrpe nagios nrpe So we need to install nagios nrpe server and uh, nagios plugins iPhone Y So confirm that it should install So now let's see so all the dependent packages going to install and installed successfully now edit uh, slash etc nagios slash nrp dot cfg file so we have to add the nagios server ip address so that in order to uh, get the queries listened so go little down and wherever there is a allowed host parameter so in this so we have to add the nagios server ip address so our nagios server ip address is 192.168 29.200 and save this configuration file control x and s yes and say enter so it would be saved now then uh, allow the 566 port number using the firewall so efw allow 566 slash tcp sorry so it should be a d slash enter so now firewall is allowed Let's restart the service system CTL restart Nagios dash NRPE server. So it should take effect. The configuration should take effect and let's uh, verify the status. So you can see that the status is active and running. So that should be good for us. So now let's uh, look at the plugins slash USR lib. Uh, Now just plugins and you can see that there are few plugins available over here and let's try to run some of the uh, command here so let's run uh, ping command here check underscore ping and see that uh, whether the plugin is working fine or not so let's say ping iphone edge localhost and say iphone warning level okay let's see that what are the options over here so let's warning level you can see that uh, 120 percent packet loss and you can see critical 500 and 60 uh, percent packet loss okay let's enter so looks like the ping is working fine after installing the ns nrpe client on the linux server so what you have to do is that you have to edit this configuration file vi slash etc nagios nrpe.cfg file and then add the commands so example i have added the few commands here so which is called uh, check underscore zombie underscore prox you can see this check underscore zombie underscore prox so which will verify the zombie processes on the uh, system so the plugin path here you can see that uh, slash usr log lib nagios plugins slash check underscore prox so i already specified some warning and critical level here so if you don't want to specify here you can just uh, uh, add as a argument one so that the the same argument will be called from the Nagio server configuration so otherwise you can also define here and you can just uh, call this command from the check underscore m nrpe from the Nagio server so it will automatically take this warning and critical level okay so now here i am just going to add one more command called check underscore total prox so which is going to check that uh, total processes which should not reach more than 150 
and critical should be 200 something like that so based on your requirement you can change these values but example i just added this and check underscore user so how many users uh, uh, log into the machine should be giving as a warning and critical and check load check disk uh, check underscore swap check underscore cpu stats uh, check underscore mem uh, and uh, inrd services example say that uh, uh, whatever the service status you would like to check that you can check it from here okay so and uh, apt so check underscore apt okay so uh, enable these commands something like that so if you want to add any other commands you can also come back here and uh, download the plugin in this default location here or anywhere you can download the plugin and provide this path but this is the default location where Najos user has the permissions to execute these uh, plugins so download the plugin here and put those arguments so are the options here uh, then come this is the command name you have to call it from the Najos server while you are configuring the Najos configuration file these are the commands I am going to specify in the configuration file okay so this is what you have to do then restart the nrp nagio service here the server service uh, in this ubuntu then go back to the nagio server and configure the checks here i am in nagio server i am saying that uh, adding the remote linux server using the nrpe method so and I server using nrpe so we are going to monitor using this nrpe here um, let's go to the slash usr libx uh, and check that check underscore nrpe and uh, 192.168.29.204 which is an ubuntu server ip address and check that whether we have the nrpe communication is uh, perfect or not so you can see that nrpe version so which means that which is working fine as expected so now let's jump into the our uh, servers directory and add this ubuntu.techarkit.local dot cfg file so we have to define the host and services here so i'm not going to define that so i just copy paste this uh, configuration from the get repository so okay so i just copy pasted that okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to replace the host name and ip address so all these checks are already uh, similar so okay so now let's uh, paste it again so it, it went off okay so paste it again and uh, go all the way up and uh, modify the IP address okay there is a comments are missing so let's comment this and change the IP address here 182.168.29.204 so now let's re replace the host uh, name here so alias is going to be a ubuntu server nrp client now okay so we added the address and the description and let's replace this host name uh, percentage yes slash uh, the old host name server 2.techarkit.local and slash the new name new name is ubuntu.techarkit.local slash g so it replace the global replacement now so all the host and ip address has been replaced now let's save this configuration file and uh, verify the nachos let's see so okay so we have to define the command first but we forgot that we did not define let's edit the commands.cfg file slash usr local 
nachos etc objects commands.cog and we have to define the check underscore nrp command here okay so let's see here i'm just going to say consume comments check underscore nrp command so now i'm just copy paste a book command definition define command check underscore nrp here and the command and the command name is going to be a user one by default and the check underscore nrp is the plugin name and define the host the host address variable and i'm going to define the timeout value is 60 seconds and the iphone c is for commands and argument one and argument two so that multiple arguments you can pass over there so let's close this command and uh, that's it so this is the nrp command definition and save it and now verify the nachos again you can see okay so there are the few errors saying that uh, there is a duplicate definitions found on the ubuntu.techrkt.local so let's edit that file and uh, correct that slash boot uh, duplicate definition come down so here you can see that there is a slash ubuntu slash ubuntu slash boot slash boot partition disk usage so i'm going to delete this service definition here and save this configuration now you can see that there is one more file which is having the duplicate entry which is related to the windows okay and edit this file and you can change this memory usage memory usage okay so i'm just going to modify this description is uh, memory usage percentage percent so that's it save it and again try to verify the nagios configuration okay it looks good now restart the nagios service okay so there is no error so just jump back to the console the web console and see how the checks going on so you can see that there are little a uh, orange color warnings but uh, that should be fine because the command should receive the uh, output from the remote server so that might be take a few minutes to commit you can see that there are few disks is already green so which means that our configuration is working fine that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses if you want to join the uh, whatsapp group the link is given below in the description click on the link and join the whatsapp group for connecting with more technical people